Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a declutter, organize, and clean with me. So no matter what kind of motivation you are needing, you are completely covered. We are going to take those mundane tasks that we have to do every day and we are going to get motivated together and tackle them one by one. So today I'm going to be cleaning almost my entire house from top to bottom and then kind of decluttering a few areas in my house as well. And then once I'm done cleaning, I am going to tackle my Monica's closet. If you guys have seen the show, friends you know exactly the reference I'm talking about and I'm also really excited for this video because it's a collaboration with my friend Lindsay from her channel Lindsay's Life and Style. I'm sure you guys know who she is. She is one of my very first friends that I ever had on YouTube and one of my best friends. She is so sweet and so genuine and so funny. Her smile is so contagious. I know that you guys will love her. She shares lots of similar content that I share on my channel so I will link her video down in the description box. It would mean the world to me if you guys would go check her out and let her know that I sent you and leave me a comment below if you decide to go over and check her out as well. So without further ado, let's get into this cleaning. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kind of proud. I got my dancing shoes on. All right, so we first started out in the living room. Kyle was working on this day, but as you can see, we are still home in summer mode right now. And so I had all of the kids just help me in the living room and just kind of tidying up the space. A majority of it was either the throw pillows that they threw on the floor or all their toys. So I had them go ahead and tidy those up with me and then bring those up to the toy room, which we all worked together to put away upstairs. I've mentioned this before, but I usually have them clean their toy room every day. However, in the summertime, we kind of struggle with routines. And while they do do most of their chores, we are not as diligent about making sure their playroom looks really nice. And so they probably only clean this a few times a week, maybe like three or four times a week instead of every day. And so with that being the case, the toy room often ends up looking a mess like this. But when it does get this messy, sometimes I will come up and help them out because I feel like when I send them in on their own, when it's looking like this, they just become overwhelmed and it takes them so long and things don't get put away right. And so me spending a few minutes in here with them really makes a big difference. But also the system I have in place in here, which is just these bins and the cube organizers, it makes cleanup so quick and easy Easy, especially when all of us pitch in. Make it with 
Next, I just moved into the hallway and usually I don't do too much to this area, but as you can see, we had a ton of books and when we have so many books, it's really hard for the kids to kind of put them away correctly, especially our two younger boys. And so I really wanted to go through just very quickly and just get rid of some books that we never really read anymore. The sky is blue, I got the sun in my eyes. It can get better than when she makes that smile. Yeah, she's got that style that makes you think she's made out of gold. She's turning up the volume on the radio. Yeah. I'm gonna make it worth your while. Moving into the bathroom, this wasn't like a deep clean kind of day. I just needed to clean the toilet because I am a boy mom and this is a almost daily task. And then I just wanted to wipe down the counter and also the mirror. We're like superstars. Windows roll down, radio on. I think we could go far. We don't need money. We can skip that part. All I want is her to be with me. She's got a ticket to my heart. To clean the mirror, I am just using my e-cloths and I mentioned in a few videos back that I would be having an e-cloth coupon for you guys and that is now in the description box. So if you guys would like to save 10% on your order, you can go ahead and check out that coupon code and save yourself some money and get some of the best cloths out there. I love these things. You draw the foreigner? Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Where's the steering wheel? Where's the wheels? The wheels is. I tried to draw the wheels. You tried to draw the wheels or you forgot? Actually, I forgot. Uh oh, you gonna go draw them? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna build this. Okay. Sounds hey. good. Bye. Bye. Moving into the boys' room, the boys had already made their bed, so I didn't really have to do too much in here. But one thing that I have not been diligent on this summer is dusting upstairs, especially just because 
I am not really in like a full blown cleaning routine right now. I do do my morning and nighttime routine, but I have not been so great about my weekly cleaning routine. I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to that this fall, but I feel like in the summer we're more in survival mode. And so this is something that definitely gets pushed to the wayside. Let me know where you guys are at and if you guys have started back with school yet. Our boys are starting in about a week. So we have one more week of summer and we're just trying to soak it up as much as we can. But while I'm definitely still in summer mode, I'm really looking forward to getting all of those routines back. Like a highlight, everything is just top notch. I can make it to the finish line, completely effortless. I can see you in the seaside, straight back like a dry one. Let me know what you're thinking of when your eyes are closed. I need to find out what's hiding underneath. Cause I got some questions that you got the answer to. Turkey when it's snowing. <laughs> you don't eat a turkey when it's snowing. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're just doing the book. You guys and are doing school books. In the winter, you fly your kite, you play with the beach ball, and you eat a turkey. <laughs> and you bear. And he says you barely play with the snowman. You barely have a Christmas tree, and you barely go sledding. <laughs> you guys are being silly. You, you don't. You but he says you go ice skating in the summer. <laughs> no, you don't. To serve you. Got a flame that will burn you. Take your so while the boys were occupying themselves at the table, I just went ahead and started tidying up the kitchen. It wasn't really too terrible in here. We just had some things left on the counter, and so I wanted to clear that off before I started working on the dishes. Be the one. Your lips are silent, but I hear you. Cause I got some questions that you got the answer to. So I wanted to share something with you guys that unless if you're over on Instagram, you probably didn't know about, but a lot of you guys have been aware that I've been struggling with maybe some thyroid issues and just some different health issues. And I recently found out within the last week that I have something called Hashimoto's. It's basically a thyroid autoimmune disease. And so because of that, I'm kind of having to try to change my diet around and I wanted to get your guys' thoughts. If you guys would be interested in seeing any food-related content like grocery hauls or cooking videos or recipes or what I eat in a day, let me know if that's something that would interest you. I would probably end up including those in my vlogs, but just leave your thoughts down below. I would love to hear if that's something you were interested in seeing or not really. What's going on? So hear me say Your info is my power, baby Only I matter of time It's time for my favorite part of any cleaning video. I love cleaning the sink and I feel like it's just so therapeutic and so satisfying. So I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this part. A lot of you guys have mentioned that you love this just as much as I do, so here you go. Wake 
So for the last several months, I've been using these glass soap dispensers, but I decided I wanted to try something without a pump, and so I actually went to Target the other day, and I was looking for like an oil and vinegar type bottle that just had a spout so that I could just kind of pour the dish soap out, and I found these adorable oil and vinegar bottles, so I decided to get them and try them out, and so far I have been loving them. I think it gives a totally different look, it's really cute, and it's honestly just a little bit more convenient without having to pump your bottle every time. You can just tip it over and you're good to go. So I will leave these linked down below in case you guys are looking for them, but like I said, they are at Target, so you can find them there. Now I'm just wiping down my counters with the Method Sea Salt and Lime Spray. This is one of my very favorite summer sprays. I feel like it's so bright and fresh. And I'm really trying to use these scents up because I know as soon as the fall scents start coming out, I'm definitely going to start gravitating towards those and start using those for the rest of the year. So most of the time to clean my floors, I like to use my Dyson vacuum, but I've been finding myself sweeping a lot more since we don't have any carpet in here. We just have the hard floor. And so for some reason, I have just started sweeping a lot more often. I'm not really sure why. We are still in the market for a rug and I've been really looking into the ruggable rugs. A lot of you guys have been recommending those to me. So once we find a rug, I'm sure you will see me bring out my vacuum again. But for now, I am just enjoying this newfound one to start sweeping my floors. I know, it's crazy. Also, I wanted to mention what this is. Every time I show this, I get a ton of questions. So this is a central vacuum system. Basically, you just sweep all of the dust and dirt into this little area right here, and it will suck it into a big canister that we have in our garage. And it's something I never knew I wanted, and now that we have it, I love it so much. Get 
connection with you The mix of all the feelings is so new Gotta find my devotion to stay true So I can be in all this for you I gotta figure it out right now Cause I know what you need You want only the best And nothing but the best for me I gotta figure it out right now Cause I know what you need You want only Okay, so now that the house is clean I am tackling this closet that I have been putting off since close to when he moved in it just started becoming the closet that we never really used but we just kind of threw things into like i said in the beginning if you guys watch friends you know what i'm talking about but basically on the show friends there's a character named monica and she is very neat and tidy throughout her entire apartment however she has one closet in her house that is locked and someone ended up opening it up and when they opened it up they found everything imaginable it was just crammed full of everything in there and it was just basically anything that didn't have a home she would put in that closet and kind of keep it out of sight out of mind and this is my monica closet like i said i've been putting this off for a really long time and just kind of adding to the craziness of it but i thought that this could actually be a really great space to put things for our kids back to school time so this is a place where they can keep their winter coats or their backpacks or just any extra things like that that don't really have a good home but are kind of bulky and so that is my whole goal for this closet. So the first thing I have to do is just take everything out of the closet and get it wiped down and vacuumed out so that I can start with a clean slate. When you call my name, I go crazy. When you call my name, make me lose my game. When you call my name, I go crazy. Cause I can't escape. When you call my name, when you call my name. So I know this looks like a complete mess out here, and it is, but there is a method to my madness. So all of these things are actually things that we are going to be getting rid of. And then everything else in the other corner are things that we are going to be keeping. And then once I clear this out a little bit, I will be going through those items and just deciding if these are going to be going back into the closet or if I'm going to be storing them or what we are going to do with all these items. This feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long Took a hold on me and won't let go I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so So if you've been a part of my channel for a while 
You have seen these cube organizer bins throughout my house. I love them. I think they are so functional and they've made them look really nice over the years. So this is always one of my go-tos when I'm looking to organize a space. And these are very affordable. This one is just from Walmart. I'll link it down below for you guys. And it also comes in several different finishes so you can get it to match your own space. So the only tricky part about this is I actually had to build this one in the closet because our doorway is pretty small here and so I knew that I wasn't going to be able to fit it in if I built it outside and then be able to have enough room to put it in. So what I did is I just took a Dollar Tree bin and I basically built the cube organizer right on top of it and that way it kind of would hold it up for me and I would be able to get those bottom screws in. And then from there it was pretty simple, then I would just build it as usual. It doesn't take very long to put together at all and it really makes the space so much more functional. you go to my head cause I know I'm dealing with the devil but I'm standing with my heart in your head and I'm too deep into in this gamble Holy towards you and I cannot fight it my head's underwater I try to disguise it I want you to hold me though we haven't spoken I need that something to get me open you only a shot away from me to be my everything Cause you are only a shot away from me to be my everything <laughs> Do you want me to do it? You can film. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought that would be so much more graceful. That did not work out at all, actually. <laughs> okay. It's good. It's in there. It's good. <laughs> all right. That's the hard part. Now we're good. <laughs> The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa So my thoughts with these bins is to be able to put extra shoes or extra boots or just whatever various items that we need for the boys during the school year into these cube organizer bins down below. And then they can also hang up their coats and the top of the cube organizer gives them a space to put their backpacks. And then I also wanted to include this little organizer right here so that anytime they have homework or library books or just extra papers, they can all put them in their own little drawers and they don't get lost throughout the house. And I'm also using my Mabel's labels that I had shared in a few videos back. I love them, I will link them down below, but that way they know exactly which one is theirs. Cause I don't know So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you all the cleaning and organizing and decluttering motivation that you were needing. Do not forget to head over to Lindsay's channel and let her know that I sent you. And if you are new here and have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below. I would love to have you. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Wait a minute, 
Awaken my spirit now.